He was everything I eat in the day as a fat girl who's not trying to lose weight. So I stayed at my friend's dorm at the night. So we didn't wake up early enough for breakfast. So we ordered chicken and rice bowls from this place on DoorDash. You guys, it was so tasty. But it was so big I could only eat half. And I had... I think being in a dorm or going to college is... A lot of people think that it's like the way to become an adult and in certain peri- in certain time frames maybe like it could prepare you for becoming an adult but the problem i often see is that there's like one communal place where you can cook all your food and they don't really prioritize people like what you can't even have a microwave in your thing in some places and definitely don't have an air fryer can't have like a, a cooking place so you have to use the things that they have there so it really incentivizes you to go downstairs or wherever your meal place is and then you get there maybe you got a few swipes of some like fast food genres in the area and I don't think that really like prepares a lot of people for the real world, the real world when it comes to, you know, eating food and things such and so forth. And that I don't know if you guys are into the whole school should prepare you for real life, but I'm like a big fan of that. And I think to a certain degree, college is like baby wheels for being an adult. Like you're not really going to understand anything. You're just in a dormitory. Maybe you have like roommates and things such and so forth. Hopefully they're people that you really care about. And like you can like, I don't know communicate well with because i've heard like horror stories of people being in like rooms and i remember i was literally talking to this one girl and she was roomed up with another girl and that girl would just like have lesbian sex right like the beds would be like bunk beds right but they would be like okay i don't know if they were bunk beds maybe they were bunk beds i don't know but yeah they were bunk bunk beds or four so there'd be two and then two and then the girl like how the beds were oriented it'd be like foot to foot that girl would have sex with other girls like every week or so. And they wouldn't, she wouldn't tell anybody. But it was like obvious, right? I remember being on FaceTime with this girl and the bed would just be shaken. And then she would like flip the camera and you would see two girls just like, I don't even know what they were doing. But I guess they were having hot lesbian steamy sex or whatever that consists of. But they were, that, was, that was what was going on. The, the college doesn't really prepare you in a lot of ways for like the real world, especially when it comes to eating. I mean, they really incentivize you going down to the, the mess hall or like whatever you want to call it, the cafeteria, and then getting the food there. And then you can't even leave that cafeteria with the food. Like, what are you talking about? It's a fucking banana. Like, I can't leave this place with a banana? What are you talking about? What is this blasphemous? This is this craziness. And then also, the communal places where you can cook, a lot of them don't even work sometimes. Like, I remember during COVID, they just completely had them off for a lot of places. So you couldn't even do that. That. and like i said maybe you have the swiping system so you can go to like starbucks or subway or something like that and get a free sandwich it's not even really free because you're spending twenty thousand extra dollars a year on fast food basically anyway i had it with some leftover mango juice then once i came home and did my sunday reset i was too lazy to cook what are, what, are we, what is this sunday reset it doesn't even rhyme like it should be like sunday stress relief or something like ss you know what i'm talking about if it's like Sunday reset, it should be, there is no word, it, re, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no, not a single day in the week that starts with R, so you can't even do that, so I don't, I don't agree with that, it should be like Friday free for all or something like that, or Monday masculinity, or Monday monolith month, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of words that you can use, but Sunday reset doesn't make any sense to me. So I just made a super cheesy garlic bread for dinner, and that's everything I ate. Hi, guys. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. But you also got to understand that the meal that she ate in the very beginning of the day, depending on how much she ate of this, I wouldn't even be doubted if this was, uh, I don't know, a couple thousand calories because she had something else with it. But anyway. Guys, uh, welcome back to another What I These look really, really burnt. Like, you had put these, you had put these in the air fryer for way too long. Eat in today. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I decided to have a breakfast corn dog. I don't know if this is my memory playing mind games on me or not but i feel like whenever i had these as a child the pancake batter tasted like it was already dipped in syrup but that was not the case for these i had to dip them everything in tastes better when you're a kid I've, I've come to that realization the amount of times that i was like oh man i'm gonna like eat this like really good food that i had when i was a kid and it was tasting so good when i was a kid but then you eat it when you're an adult and you're like this is actually disgusting gross horrible and i don't recommend people watching like old tv shows or movies that they really, really loved when they were children and then re-watching them as an adult, it never hits the same. Like, I used to watch those old claymation movies like, uh, I don't know, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, anytime I watch it, I'm like, dude, this is fucked up. Like, I can't believe this. these dudes are literally just being racist to this guy because his nose is inadequate compared to all the other places. And then, like, Ernie, Ernie from, 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 from you know, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, they literally just kicked him out because he was gay. And I was just like watching this shit. I was like, bro, this is ridiculous, dude. Like, I can't, these dudes, not only are they racist, but they're homophobic too. Santa Claus was anorexic. So I'm like focusing on things that I probably shouldn't even be focusing on, if I'm going to be honest with you. But 
as an adult, I feel like that's one of the consequences of being an adult is that like sometimes you overanalyze things and then you come to the realization that a lot of these movies are deep seated and they probably contributed to racism in some particular type of way. Or maybe I'm just going off a little bit too hard on them. But definitely true when you eat something as a children and then you evolve into your natural state of human of, of adulthood it is not as good as it once was syrup myself and i'm not complaining i'm only bringing this up i also will give her a little bit of credit for the fact that she has star patches i used to use star patches too um i still do use star patches but i don't have as many anymore since i'm you know i don't know like it star patch people make fun of me a lot for them they're like is that toothpaste no it's not toothpaste okay how is toothpaste pink okay what it is is star patch and um, I got them from a girl and she gave them to me. She said, these are going to help with acne and I don't really have acne too often. But now that I said that I probably will start breaking out, but, um, I don't know, dude. I also don't like her eyebrows and I don't like that piercing that she has in the middle of her mouth. I'm really surprised. I've been doing these videos now for like a year, the what I eat in a day videos. And this woman has been consistent throughout that year with this amazing, really, really short hairline and that really outrageously terrible piercing that she has in the middle of her mouth, which is called a smiley. Apparently it really seems like whenever she takes a bite of anything, like, your breath's got to consistently always smell like ass, right? How do you wash this thing? Do you have to, like, dip it in some type of, like, acid or whatever to, like, completely cleanse it? Or do you take it out at all? Because, like, let's be honest here. When you're brushing your... Hold up. Hold up now. I just looked at myself when I was doing that. You know what I'm talking about. When you brush your teeth and you have to get to the back, you have to get to the front, whatever. How do you how do you brush this without having it accidentally pull on something or something like that? I don't know. I just... I really feel like this particular, this particular piercing is just dumb. But anyway... Why didn't you play? Up to see if y'all also remember if they used to taste like they already had syrup. Anyways, today for my lunch, I did- That looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. She did, a good, she did a good job with this I one. I to make myself a sandwich. Ooh, damn. The cottage cheese. I'm not a big fan of cottage cheese. People have told me that you can blend it up. But blending up cottage cheese just to make it tolerable. Because, like, the problem with me is, like, the consistency, the texture. Maybe you're not a person that, like, has a problem with texture. But for me- Texture is like a really big thing for me when I eat stuff. So I can't really eat cottage cheese because it kind of tastes like, um, I don't even know. Like, I feel like I'm gargling mini, mini, mini nut sacks in my mouth consistently. I don't like that. And, uh, I, they told me to blend it up, but I'm not really for blending up food because I don't have a blender. I used this jalapeno and cheese bolillo bread that I got from HEB and inside of my sandwich I have turkey, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, onions, Not and bad. some banana peppers. And along with my sandwich I'm having of course some jalapeno kettle chips and some cottage cheese. Not bad. Tonight for dinner I am having some broccoli and cheese soup with some multi grain Broccoli and cheese soup? I mean I can't hate on it completely. I mean there are better suits out, soups out there but... It's not the worst. I, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt on this one. It's not the worst. The sandwich might have been a little bit high in calories, but still not the worst. And crackers. I used my little Olive Garden cheese shredder dupe to add in some cheddar cheese. If you're really listening to this video right now, do me a favor. Go to the comments. It's not an actual meal, though. Like, mo most of the time when I see these people eat these foods, I always think, like, you should probably be maximizing the amount of food that you can get out of these, out of whatever you're eating. So, you know, throw in some meat. Throw in something that's going to, like, make you full faster. And that would be, like, really optimal for you. Because most of these people have a problem with the food that they're eating. In the sense of, like, how much they're eating, too. So, it's not always just about the calories. I mean, it is. Calories are, like, the most important part. Like, you will have guys that only eat, like, once or twice a day. But the amount of calories in those things would be, like, 4,000 calories each. So, you have that. And then you're only eating twice a day. And the dude's fat. He's like, I don't know why I'm so fat. Because you just drank like a thousand calories worth of orange juice, dude. And that plate of like sandwiches that you just ate was like another thousand calories. So when I see these people, right, I often think you should be trying to maximize the amount of calories within the meals that you're eating. Because eating cheese soup with some broccoli, that shit is probably not the best in senses of like... You could eat a lot more stuff. And then also having the crackers, too, on the side. I like crackers. I like the Ritz, dude. Ritz are nice, but I don't really I haven't eaten them in so long. But I understand it. Like, I get it. It's really good to eat. And it's probably, like, really novel to sit down at a table wherever you are eating cheese and then crackers with it. That's cool. Awesome, right? But <laughs> it's not practical. I get it. Maybe these people are not trying to lose weight. I, be I believe she said she's not trying to lose weight at the very beginning of this. But it just, like, hurts me so deeply because... You could be eating way more food. You could be satiated for way longer. And all it would take is like, I don't know, 20 minutes of research maybe. Or like a little bit, like maybe a little bit longer. And But think about it like this. 20 minutes, maybe two days worth of research at most. And that's going to prepare you for the rest of your life and understanding what foods are good and what foods are not. I think that's probably way more beneficial. And 
you pick up the culinary expertise of knowing how to cook, knowing how to properly cleanse the dishes of, of the seasonings and things such and so forth. I mean, she is a Latina. Sorry, Latina. And that is like probably a default, like she knows how to season food. But most people don't really know how to season food. Speaking from experience here, I didn't know how to season food until I dated a black woman. And then she bestowed upon me Lari seasoning salts and garlic powder and salt and pepper and other things such and so forth. So I can properly season out my foods and stuff like that. But a lot of people don't have that experience. A lot of people don't know how to season. A lot of people don't know how to like coat their foods and, you know, put ingredients together because especially if you were born in the last 20 years, you probably, um, you're probably conditioned to have DoorDash consistently just have to your house and you have there's tons of fast food places, people that will cook for you. And maybe that's practical for you because you don't have a lot of time, even though I disagree with that. I think too many people have that excuse of like, I have no time to cook when in reality you do have time to cook. You just make an excuse to eat fast food. And that's fine. If you want to eat fast food, just don't bullshit me. Own up to it. You are eating fast food because you want to eat fast food. You're not eating fast food because you don't have time. You can have time, okay? Stop acting like you can't cook a meal. Stop acting like you can't cook several meals in that day. You know, it's just like, like, what are you doing? Spending nine hours a day scrolling through TikTok while you're working? Get the fuck out of here. You can go fucking go home, make a sandwich, go home, make a meal. You can do a lot of things with those hours, all right? You don't have to sit there and order Uber Eats, wait 25, 30 minutes for the dude to come over. You know your food's going to be missing. That dude probably body slammed half your shit. Your fries is done. The, the fries are saggy. They're soggy, whatever, dude. And they're flaccid, right? They're flaccid like a BBC that just exploded. And then you're sitting there. You're looking at your food, and you, at some reason, you're not depressed. I don't understand that. Like, I know you're going to feel a certain type of way after you, you got done body slamming that shit. It's a fact. Anybody that's eating McDonald's above the age of 25, there's, like, a passive effect of eating McDonald's where you just kind of, like, lose 20%. Like, you just become 20% more depressed that day because you know you made improper dietary decisions when it came to the food that you ate. But maybe I'm wrong. So let me know if you were involved in any extracurricular activities in high school. Me and my boyfriend were talking the other day and he was telling me how he was in ROTC and it's just something that I would have never- ROTC was gay. And I mean that in the un- ungay way like you know how people used to say like oh that's gay it's not actually gay they just use it as like a derogatory term i was in rotc and i thought it was gonna be so cool and i remember going to this shit and i would get i failed that class because they tried to get me to wear the, the uniform day in not day in day out i had to wear it once a week and you might be like david that's a lot that's not a lot it's not a lot you're right maybe i was just lazy but listen Okay, I live in the Northeast. It snows here. And have you ever tried to walk to school, taking the train and the bus to get to your school wearing a full uniform of ROTC? Not like, I'm talking about the suit version. I'm not talking about the ones that you like, you wear the boots and you have like the, whatever those are called, like the actual military stuff that they wore in Desert Storm. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like the suit, okay? I had to wear that walking through, you know, like negative two degrees Fahrenheit, sorry, not Celsius. Uh, otherwise, I'd be dead if it was Celsius. But I had to do that every week, and it just was implausible for me. And you know what's really crazy? I had a Muslim guy friend that literally never had to wear it, and he had an exempt because he was Muslim. He just told him that he was Muslim. He didn't have to wear it, which is really crazy because I, I should have just told him that I was Muslim. What are they going to say? No, no, you're not Muslim. Prove it. I don't know. Like, what do you look at my dick? It's circumcised. I don't eat beef. What do you want? You know, like, maybe I just had like, to say that or like authenticate it. But RTC, in my opinion, I had like a Vietnam veteran guy that was uh, that was the teacher, and he didn't do anything. He just kind of sat down sometimes, and uh, every once in a while, he'd come to up to the class and he'd make fun of you because your pants were a little bit too low, or maybe your haircut was a little bit not right. And then he would sit back down. He was like 75 years old, dude. It was not it was not a good class. Maybe it was just like my experience, but it was just not good. Oh, for and he lied about getting us pizza. We won the whole like salute off or whatever the fuck. We had to do the poses and things like that. And he never got us pizza. He just kind of, he was like, oh yeah, we're going to do, we're going to get the pizza for everybody. The whole school year, never got pizza, dude. Lied to us. For him. Personally, for me, I wasn't really involved in any extracurricular activities, but I did take cosmetology class if you want to <laughs> count that. In high Woman. school, I was more. Damn, dude. You had to spoil it with the, you know what? Strawberries are fine. I call them straw bellies. And because I think they sound cuter like that. Um, she got the probably the non-organic ones with the exception of this one right here. Yeah, this this one's definitely non-organic. This shit's literally taken up her whole entire mouth. God damn. Of the working girl. So whenever school ended, I didn't have time for sports or hobbies. I went straight to work for a little late night snack. That's I had just some chocolate covered fuck. strawberries. But like I always tell you, that's enough risky. about me. What did you eat today? Let me know in the comments. Bye. Hi guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't eat healthy. Today for breakfast, I decided to make some breakfast tortas. 
I stuffed my bolillo bread with over me. What I love about like Latina accents or Latino accents or whatever you want to call them, it's gendered, okay? What are you going to do? And I hear this quite a bit where sometimes people will have these inconsistent accents where they don't really apply under certain settings, right? So they'll say something like, for instance, um, potito or whatever she said there, potito. And what she actually means is potato, obviously, but you got to add a little bit more flavor to it to make it seem like you know what you're talking about. I see politicians doing this all the time. Like, well, they'll go, as you know, the Latino, the Latin X community. And I'm like, dude, you never talk like this. Why are you emphasizing this accent so heavily? You're from Detroit. Like, what do you mean, bro? You're not, you, you're not from that area, dude. Stop, stop acting like that. And I see the same thing too, when people are from like Boston or New York, but they're not actually from Boston or New York, like Michael Rappaport, right? This fucking guy, he was in like New York for like four months, and now he came out, like he went to New York when he was like 28, and he came out, and suddenly he's, hey, what are you talking about? Like, uh, my, it's crazy, I can't believe what's going on. Like, what are you talking about, dude? You're a liar, stop lying to me. How hard is it too? Like, I'll give him that. He's put on this accent for like the last 30 years of his life. He's been maintaining it. I don't know how he's been able to, but look at any like interviews of this guy early on in his career. This fucking guy didn't have that accent. And a lot of people do too. A lot of YouTubers too. A lot of YouTubers have some really fake accents. Medium eggs, crispy bacon, some pepper jack and some Kobe Jack cheese. I warmed them in the oven until the cheese got all nice and melty. And honestly, Damn, he slapped dude. my ass. Like <laughs> slap that ass is crazy, bro. See that piercing? It just like drags across the food. You're not like scared about that. Like the top lip area for me is just like, I don't know. Like I feel pretty like not good about that having be pierced because like I already don't really like it. Um, when I take like baths, when I take baths or whatever, I'm always concerned or if I'm in water up to past my, I guess, midsection, I always think that the water is going to go up inside of me and then I'm going to become like a sea serpent or something like that or I'm going to be invaded by aliens or spores or whatever's in the water. So like I can't really, damn bro, I got to keep it a buck with you. I got to keep it a buck with you. Okay. What happened? Damn. God damn. What happened to this shit? You fucked up? Damn, bro. That shit is demolished. What happened? What'd you do? Damn. Would you get your boyfriend to do it for you? That's literally so freaking hard. The, this one's all right. This one's okay. It's a little bit thin. I think uh, you could see that she plucks them a little bit. It's a little bright on the sides. And that's not if you want to pluck your eyebrows a little bit. But damn. <gasps> what happened? Y'all already know I like my shit spicy, so I added some Julio salsa all over my torta. For a little after breakfast before lunch snack, I am having a bluebell vanilla ice cream sandwich. Say it with a little spice. Bluebell vanilla ice cream. Say it like that. Bluebell vanilla ice cream. If you're really listening to this video right now, do me a favor. It's such a dumb piercing. It's so dumb. I don't know why people have this fucking piercing. And by the way, how the fuck are you going to install lashes and you're wearing glasses? What the fuck is that? Hmm? What the fuck is that shit? What did you do? Like, okay, <laughs> whatever. Go to the comments and let me know what your favorite kind of ice cream is that's not in a tub. Personally, for me, I really love the Dibs ice cream. What do you mean ice cream that's not in a tub? You're literally eating vanilla ice cream right now. What the fuck are you talking about? It's strawberry mochi, scribbles, and Snickers ice cream bars. Oh, Today okay. for lunch, me and my boyfriend- You can literally buy- I, I, You go to Friendly's, you'll find that shit in a tub. Came to chopsticks and it absolutely positively without it. But you already ate like shit today, bro. Why you gotta go to a buffet now? Damn, bro. These people real deal just be setting themselves up for failure, bro. And you know the problem with the problem I feel like when it comes to buffets is that sure it's quantity over quality, and you know it is, bro. The guy behind the counter, he's probably been cooking for like nine hours. All this shit's probably been out since the day before. You think they're putting love and affection in the foods that they're making? Nah, dude. Everything on that plate is just pure depression. Everything. It's made with sweat and tears and somebody's depression that they had to drip in there because they had to work all night to make this disgusting slop food for you. Now, it's fine if you want to go and eat at a terrible establishment like these. Like, it's fine. I, I don't have a problem with it, dude. Like, here's the thing. I'm totally okay if people want to do things that are disgusting all the time, right? I've peed in a girl's mouth. You've sucked toenails or something like that. I know you've done weird stuff. Don't act like you didn't, okay? Okay. We all do stuff sometimes that is inappropriate for us as divine human beings, right? We all do stuff that takes away our purity in some particular type of way, right? And don't act like you don't. And it's all right to go to an establishment where you're going to be slopping down like 9,000 calories worth of double deep fried, quadruple deep fried chicken or whatever the fuck this thing is. I don't know what this is. But when you're big as fuck, when you're big, 
you need to chill back on that. That's kind of crazy, bro. Your real deal, you're doing too much. Like, at what point in time are you going to look at yourself in the mirror and go, I've been doing this for too long. I need to calm down. You know, I've real deal probably eaten more than most people in their entire lives, and I'm 24. You know, like, that's not a good thing. Because how many times can you go further beyond that, right? You know what I'm talking about? I feel like these people don't realize that they're blowing out their backs. Oh, they're blowing out their backs. They're blowing out their knees. They're blowing out their ankles. They're blowing out their organs. You only have one set of organs. Can you imagine your organs having to shuffle through like days and days and days and days worth of food in one day or like even one sitting and most of the food that you're eating is literally just coated in grease and maybe some pesticides. Who fucking knows, dude? Who, I don't fucking know. I don't even know what this thing is. What is this? The point I'm making is, it's not practical. You only have one set of organs. You only have one set of ankles unless, you know, you're going to get those replaced. But you know the doctors ain't going to give you shit if you're looking like the way that you do going in there like this. Like, can you imagine a doctor going, oh, yeah, you know, we, we're going to totally replace your ankles. We're going to totally replace your kneecaps. And then somebody sends them the video of you going to an, a buffet and just body slamming all that shit. That doctor's going to be like looking at that shit like, yeah, nah, we ain't giving her nothing, bro. That's crazy. This woman don't give a fuck about herself. And you don't. Let's be honest. You don't care about yourself if you're body slamming shit like this on the reg. Del did not slap my ass so freaking hard. Don't get me wrong. The food looked good. It smelled good. It just didn't really taste good. Yeah, no shit. It's a buffet, bro. What are you fucking talking about? What? Why are these people surprised by that? Like, oh, yeah, we went to a buffet and the food didn't taste good. I know. It's a buffet. Most of the shit's not going to taste like anything at all. If it does, it's going to taste like a universal flavor of grease. Then to make things worse, I have But you still body slammed it. Isn't that crazy? I see this a lot. I see them say this quite a bit where they go, it just didn't hit right. It just wasn't tasting the best. And then meanwhile... You just seen a whole video of them just body slamming that shit as if like they you they just told you that shit didn't taste good, but it looks like you love it. It looks like that shit's deep in your mouth right now. Like you're body slamming a plate, no problem. How you gonna tell me you don't like it and then be like, oh yeah, I'm still gonna body slam it though. That's like a heterosexual male showing up to a BBC convention, all you can eat, slopping down dudes, right? All you hear is that dude turn the corner and all you hear is uh, 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 oh, oh man, that shit was kind of big in my mouth, but uh, I really don't like sucking dick. Like, I'm not gay at all. I've never been gay in my entire life. I think being gay is gay, so I don't really, I don't fuck with that shit. Being gay is gay. Fuck that shit. Also, black guys are gay too. I don't like that shit. But meanwhile, I just saw you gobbling down four or five black dudes in your mouth simultaneously. It doesn't make sense. You can't tell. Like, if I, if I put something in my mouth, and I was like, this tastes disgusting. You think I'm going to continue to body slam that shit? No, that's that's not how that works. This piece of chicken that was on a stick and my boyfriend said that it looked like a rat on a stick or one. So you just kept eating that shit. So your boyfriend just told you that shit looked like a rat in a stick and you just body slam that shit. Body base gooeys. Yeah, I just couldn't get that thought out of my head. For dinner, I had an everything bagel with some garden vegetable cream cheese. And then for a little late night snack, I had some Starburst and some Gushers. But like I always tell you, what the fuck is wrong with them? What is this shit? Oh, is this like weed? <laughs> uh, that's enough about me. What did you eat today? Let me. I, you know what's really interesting is like if you want to if you want to do this stuff, that's fine, right? I think I believe in body autonomy. I believe in somebody choosing the right path for themselves and things like as long as you're being responsible. I see people smoking weed that are like 400, 500 pounds. Doesn't it take longer to be intoxicated in general when you weigh that much because you have more body to saturate compared to somebody that's of a, a, a you know a gooder size, a normaler size? Am I wrong on that? Can somebody please let me know? Because at that point, aren't you wasting money? Because like you would have to buy three, four times the amount of alcohol to even reach the same amount of like saturation level compared to somebody like me or somebody that's smaller. And I always think like when it comes to being fat like this, you guys are self-sabotaging yourselves in ways that I feel like you don't understand. Have you ever thought about how when you're big, right? Your penis is not going to be as big as it, as it, as it could be because the area surrounding your penis is like a volcano, right? But as you lose weight, the area around it, so like if this is your penis, you've got like these layers of like skin that go up and around the, the base of it. So you're reducing the amount of inches that you have. Everybody wants more inches. You know it. I know it. But when it comes to women as well, you got too much butt cheeks now. How am I going to properly enter whatever you got in terms of like uh, sexual intercourse and things such and so forth, right? It's going to be improbable. And if if I can and you're a big woman, um, I may, if I'm eight inches or more, uh, let's say eight inches hypothetically. I know it's kind of small. But let's say eight inches. 
I'm only maybe going to give you, depending on how big of a woman you are, or even a man, if that's what you're into, I'm only really going to be feeling like, you're only going to be feeling like maybe four inches, maybe at most. And I'm all, I'm all the way in, but I can't get all the way in because you got so much butt cheek or whatever that is clouding, stopping me from entering fully. And I think if you want to lose weight, maybe if you can't find a reason to, that could be a reason to, you know, like the saturation of whatever you're doing. And then also the inches you can receive or not receive, depending on what you're doing. You know, in the comments, bye. What I eat in a day, no. Loud, loud, loud. Diets, no restricting, just existed. Pesto, tomato, pizza, bagel, and a tangerine. It's fine. Pizza bagel's fine. Looks like she made it herself, so I can't hate on it. I've been super sick, so hopefully this soup cures me. Chicken noodles. You know it's a fallacy that that soup does. Is soup doesn't really do shit when you're. It's 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 just like I know it is is what people believe. It's kind of like when Japanese people or Chinese guys tell you like. Oh, yeah, when I feed rice to pigeons, they explode. That doesn't happen. Pigeons don't just explode. Can you fucking imagine, dude? Can you fucking imagine just, like, walking down the street and, like, this domestic fucking terrorist, this fucking Asian dude is just tossing out. He's just, like, laughing maniacally as he tosses out rice to all these pigeons. And then out of nowhere, he's just popping, blowing up. They don't do that, okay? Um, pigeons are already have living a tough life. I see pigeons all the time missing literally fucking legs. I don't know what's going on with them. I don't know if they're having like fight clubs or something like that or an eye for an eye type of thing where one pigeon talks shit to another pigeon. So, or like maybe he robbed something from another pigeon. So you got to pay the price for that. And that pigeon has to get his feet chopped off. I don't know what goes on in these pigeon communities, but I see these dudes quite a bit just chilling. Walking around. I know that sounds crazy. Walking around. They walk on whatever they got. And they're just chilling. I saw this one pigeon one time. And this dude was just chilling with nothing. He had no legs. He was just kind of sitting there like one of those old ducks. You know what I'm talking about? Like those wooden ducks. He was sitting there. And he was like when the wind blew him, he just kind of like he just went with it. He just, you know, like he just kind of leaned over on the side. Had no legs at all. I didn't even see an indentation for his legs. And then he just started flying away. What a life. What a life, man. Being a fucking pigeon with no legs, dude. It's already bad enough you don't even have arms. Can you imagine not having legs as a pigeon, dude? That sucks. But at least he could fly, right? I guess. But, um, yeah. Pff, good. Thank God I'm not a fucking pigeon. Soup with spinach and lots of garlic. This is Doge. my roommate, Logan. Yogurt and... Damn, dude. <sighs> These GMO... These GMO fucking strawberries be big as shit, dude. Look how massive that thing is, bro. That's like the size of your fist. Strawberries, orange chicken, mushroom chicken, rice and chow mein. Moose tracks ice cream. Oh, damn. She got the whole tub out, too. <laughs> That's a lot of ice cream, bro. How many cows do you think that is? That's got to be at least a fourth of the whole thing. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, too. Love you, too. Love you, too. What I eat in a day as a fat person who hates diet culture. What is diet culture? Like, is that, isn't that just like you practicing good etiquette when it comes to losing weight or like understanding nutrition? Is that what that is? Like, you think diet culture is just understanding nutrition? All right. I mean, if that's what you think, um, it's kind of a weird way of looking at it, but go ahead. Go off, queen. Why are you laughing? It's so weird how people just start laughing out of nowhere for videos, right? Like, what did, what did you just see? Like, you put this on the screen and then you just start laughing out of nowhere. What's funny? What's funny? What is it? What? What is it? What? You're just like looking at the screen. You're looking at your reflection in the screen, just going. <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? That's weird, dude. These people are sociopaths. Cherry lemonade. Oh wow! So she did have sound in real life. So she just didn't make a noise when she did that fake laugh. That shit is big as fuck, bro. Look how much meat they threw in that shit, dude. I can't feel your love. You can't. Uh, had three fourths because your girl was starving. Don't come up with excuses. You you just wanted to bust that shit down. That shit looks dry though, man. You can't put a little bit of something on there. Something a little bit just to moisturize it a little bit. Damn, bro. Some onions. You know what I don't understand is like, oh, I thought that said breast milk, dude. I thought it said this is the breast milk. I was about to be like, dude, hold up. I mean, one thing I don't understand 
is that these people are so health con health conscious in the weirdest ways. Like you could be sitting there and you could be body slamming donuts, fried chicken, do pizza on the daily, and then you got to get this like matcha or whatever the fuck this is because for health benefits. What the fuck do you think is gonna happen to your body, dude? You what you're doing is like there's a, like a giant nuclear bomb going off and then you think that like that little house that you made and then you put like a fence around is going to survive it. I don't care that you think that having like some green juice that you just like I don't know like <laughs> you made in your like your kitchen or whatever you threw in a whole bunch of weird vegetables and things like that to get the antioxidants in air somehow that's going to do something to your terribly obese body. Nah, it's doing nothing. You you got to you got to prioritize the entire diet. Like fucking Leonardo's, so if Leonardo or like Shrek nutted in a cup, dude. Ooh. Damn. That shit really turned that shit green. There wasn't even a lot in there. Dude, what is up with these people, man? I, am I, am I, maybe I'm the weird one, but I don't ever just take a sip and go, like, I don't know. I just don't do that shit. Do you guys do that? I don't do it. Why are you laughing? You're just eating a candy bar. Okay. Damn. Damn. Why is she being sassy? Damn, bro. Why are you laughing about everything, bro? Come on, man. Ice cream had half but it was so fire you lying dude you didn't have half i know you body slammed that whole shit don't fucking lie to me dude don't lie you body slammed that whole thing dude don't lie to me dude it's all right to say you had half because i know you think you that's gonna like mitigate that it's not you ate all of it hi i'm anna here's what i eat in a day it's a happy fat woman starting off with the concentration tongue <laughs> like get my leftovers for lunch i got dominoes the night before and i love my combo so three slices of pizza uh is probably if i'm gonna keep it a buck with you we can uh, we can lowball it we can say 200 per 200 per so it's like 600 600 calories per this maybe a little bit more probably like let's just say 650 do the garlic parm i do mushrooms rupaul's drag race which is is that what you watch what do you guys think? What do you, what do you guys like RuPaul's Drag Race? I'm surprised I even know what that is. And tomatoes. Normally red peppers, I can't find them anymore. You know the drill. I need something sweet to come pack all that lunch savoriness. These are not my favorite cookies because I want the shortbread to be vanilla. But you know I had to body that shit. Not chocolate, but you know, I only had three. Went to my in-law's house for dinner and they always put little appetizers out. Had some cheese, had some marinated goat cheese with some crackers. And it was spaghetti night, which was so perfect because my best friend's five-year-old likes to celebrate a food each week. And this week was spaghetti and then my brother-in-law made these crazy brownies oh damn yeah i could definitely see this shit destroying somebody's entire day this right here alone is probably like 700 800 calories no joke no joke no joke dude there's like two or three oreos in this already and then you got the cake this is like bottomless calories doing nothing for you by the way the cake is massive too. Oh, that's too much to explain. But I accidentally overheated them, but they were delicious. In a world of Ozempic and GLP ones, here's what I eat in a day as a fat girl, not trying to lose weight. I decided to wake up early and go downstairs to have breakfast with my boyfriend in the clubhouse of our apartment complex, and they have breakfast every single morning, Monday through Sunday, and it's included in our rent. So of course I'm gonna eat it. Duh. I always. Oh, that's interesting. Does anybody else have something like that? I've never heard that in my life, dude. Usually, like landlords or like apartment complexes are not trying to give you anything for free you know what i remember this one time there was like a guy on tiktok that was like well you tip your pizza delivery guy right you tip your uber eats order guy why wouldn't you tip your landlord and i'm just thinking like what dude what you mean tip your landlord for what for living in his apartment what are you talking about bro what do you mean tip your landlord what do you guys think about that well i think currently as it is right now tipping is ridiculous dude i remember i went to go get a pizza one time and I walked into this pizza shop and I was like, yeah, let me get probably, let me get like a large cheese with some pepperoni on that and double it up. Let me get two, right? And this shit came up to like $49. And I was like, $49? And the lady was like, yeah, $49. And I was like, for what? What did I order? How much of the pepperonis? How many are you putting on there? And she was like, oh, um... You know, she she turned the thing around. She was like, oh, you know, the tips included. And I was like, tips included, huh? How about you let me 
How about you let me decide? And by the way, I'm, why the fuck would I tip you? I don't even know what the food tastes like. What are you talking about? How? First of all, you're the cashier, okay? Why the fuck am I tipping you? Okay, can I go back there and suck off the, the, the guy that's making the pizza instead of like you? I don't even know who this person is. And I'm looking at this tip, right? And like there is not even a no tip option. It's literally like 5%, 20%, and then 100%. And I'm just looking like this is ridiculous. You guys are real deal scamming people for this shit. And it was all default 20%. And I was like looking at this woman and I was like, can I not tip? And they were like, oh, um, we don't, yeah, we, we can do it. And I was like, I don't even know, I've never been to this pizza shop in my entire life. And you want me to tip something that I don't even know about yet. Like it, it, this could be like the worst pizza in the world. And I just gave you an extra like $10 on top of whatever it was because you didn't think you deserve it. Like, what are you talking? No, I, no, no. A waffle with a cheese and fruit cup and two boiled eggs every single time sounds like a pretty good deal i'm not gonna lie to you dude how much you paying in rent though i don't really like too much salt on my eggs but i do a lot of pepper actually i think i did two packs of pepper um Damn. tell me if anyone else does that pepper gang rise up and of course i could not finish my waffle so my boyfriend pounded the rest of it then i went back upstairs and decided to make some earl grey tea it's cool that she's an inter interracial couple um usually you don't see black women with white dudes it's usually the other way around you usually always see if you're gonna see an interracial couple from black to white it's always black guy white girl that's like 99 percent of the time so it's cool to see that uh, he's a fellow snow bunny. So that's awesome. Because your girl is back in college studying cybersecurity for her bachelor's degree. I'm are, these cup, my, are these cups microwavable? Do we know this? Are these cups microwavable? I'm not going to give her shit for it, but it's just, to yeah. WGU, and currently I am studying for the A-plus test. Damn. Any other WGU girlies, rise up, comment below. Maybe we can start a study group. And then my Walmart delivery came, and for some reason they brought me someone else's groceries, which had three loaves of white bread, and I do not eat white bread. Why? Uh-uh. And then I decided to go ahead and Wait, why does it matter? What? Your diet is already so bad that you became obese. It doesn't matter if it's not white bread. Dude, these people have really weird priorities, dude. You're literally telling me, I'm looking at you. You told me you don't give a fuck about your diet. You literally said, a fat girl that's trying not to lose weight. You don't give a fuck about your diet you're a beast why the fuck does it matter what you're putting in your throat you oh i'm not gonna eat white bread why not what is wrong with the white bread yeah i literally just saw you eating an entire ginormous big ass fucking waffle like literally a minute ago what are you talking about why does it matter it shouldn't matter your your priorities are mixed up started on lunch which today was chicken cauliflower hummus wraps and here's me showing off this super cool like four dollar veggie chopper that i got from tj maxx Blessing. Then I decided to make a super fruit smoothie. I'm caffeine sensitive, so I don't do matcha, so I like moringa powder Grimace. instead. My boyfriend called it a grimace shake. Cool, your boyfriend looks like a cool guy. No chin, though. Much man, more. that's terrible, man. No chin. Gotta have a chin. Then but I it's gave him his wrap to Maybe we'll make it up in other places. Try because, of course, we have to feed our mans because they pay all the bills. JK. He actually does 98% of the cooking. Then I got a migraine, slept on the couch for two hours, and ate some cookies. Yep. Then I went ahead and got started on dinner. My tent is a super target, and I found teriyaki salmon there. Then I decided to roast some quinoa on a pan before cooking it through. Roasting it on a pan gives it a wonderful flavor. And then I made some sautéed broccoli. Here's okay. the finished product. I'm just sprinkling black sesame over it. and then Overall, I made... it's not... Damn, what's up with these strawberries, dude? Overall, I can't say it's a bad day. I mean, there's a lot of terrible, disgusting stuff in this, but... It's all right for the most part. I mean, she is kind of like, bad. I don't understand how she has like so many priorities for her diet when she's literally obese, but go a off, man. Fruit cup salad plate on the side, and I use this new lavender lemonade whipped cream from Target, and it's so good. I've seen everybody and their mom talking about that viral cherry magnesium nightcap drink, and I was so jealous because I'm super allergic to cherries, so I went on a hunt on Pinterest to find a nightcap drink that I could drink, and this one, honey, Hits. It was so delicious and it's packed with nutrients. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You don't give a fuck about nutrients. You're literally too over nutritious already. You're literally obese. Yeah, why does it matter? Why does it matter if you're so fat? Anyway, thanks for watching. Moi. Love no you. Weight loss. <laughs> love you, love you, love you, love you. Hi guys. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Remember, I'm fat and I don't. Damn. Eat. Today I didn't have anything for breakfast, but for lunch I'm having some Wingstop. The Wingstop app had a deal on. What are you coating this shit in? Why does it look purple? wings so i ordered 15 boneless wings and i got them half barbecue and half garlic parmesan if you're really listening to this video right now do me a favor go to the comments and let me know your favorite place to get wings i don't think i've ever gotten i don't i don't like wings like i don't go to places to i don't really eat out very often and if i do i'm going to places like mcdonald's like the place that everybody already goes to already so i don't 
maybe I just can't really relate to it because I see a lot of people nowadays definitely spending a lot of time and a lot of money on fast food. And then a lot of people know like really good places to get certain things. And I just kind of sit here like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really eat out very often. Like I cook everything myself. And I often find when I do eat out, I'm very disappointed because a lot of the food that I get in other places is not so incredibly like out of the realm of possibilities for me not to make. So I always go like, I remember I went to, I went to this chicken place. I forgot what it was called, but it was like, everybody was like, oh, bro, this place is so great. It's so, it's so great. So amazing. Whatever. They made like chicken tenders. And I went there and I got their chicken tenders and fries. And then I ate them and I was like, dude, this shit is mid. Like this shit is actually just not even really that good. Like I'm promised I could probably go to the, I can go to the store end of the grocery store, get store brand chicken tenders, put them in an air fryer for 20 minutes and fries and they'd be better no seasoning no extra ingredients they would be better than whatever this shit was and um it's just disappointing for me like too many people have like i don't know like i feel like people have lost taste buds now like not many people even understand um how to understand delicacies anymore because it's just basic food to me personally for me my favorite place is buffalo wild wings Anyways, for a little after lunch before dinner snack, I am having this fruit roll up wrapped cucumber and some Jolly Rancher crusted grapes. If That's not real. That's not real, dude. You're lying. You're one of my San Antonio friends and you want a nice place to go and try some snacks, you should try out this place. It was called Sebastian Snacks and it's located on this. What the fuck is that? Or was she lying? Hold on. Wait. Wait, is this not like a cucumber roll? Wait, hold on. Wait, what did she say? This to was? Get wings. Personally, for me, my favorite place is Buffalo Wild Wings. Anyways, for a little after lunch before dinner snack, I am having this fruit roll up wrapped cucumber and some. That's real? That's real? Is that real? Wrapped cucumber in a fruit roll up and some Jolly Rancher crusted grapes? Excuse me? Where did you find that? Where? Dude, that's not real. You didn't. You, that's made up. Dude, how did. Who, who made that? Who could main, make such a monstrosity? That's real? Oh, that's a fruit roll-up, huh? That's insane, dude. Oh, my God. For a little after lunch before dinner snack, I am having this fruit roll-up wrapped cucumber and some Jolly Ranch. That doesn't even sound good to eat. They cooked it? For crusted grapes. If you're one of my San Antonio friends and you want a nice place to go and try some snacks, you should try out this place. It was called Sebastian. Bro, what is going on? There's a grape in that? And snacks and it's located Ooh. on the south side of san antonio i have been wanting to try these jolly rancher crusted grapes since why not just get grapes and oh went viral like back in 2022 and they were so stinking good and they had such a good crunch it's just candy it's just candy on top of fruit tonight for dinner i'm kind of sort of having wing stuff again but this time i'm having a chicken sandwich in the flavor garlic parmesan and of course i'm going to be dipping it in that ranch as always ranch with this girl you might as well dip the 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 the, the grapes the grapes that have been coated in whatever those the, those things were nerds or something like that dude man this woman is on some different shit bro i've never seen these things before has anybody seen these before that's insane dude grapes coated and then she had the dude what is going on Cucumbers wrapped in fruit roll-ups? <laughs> That's some pure obesity right there, dude. You bleg if you're eating shit like this. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. I want to thank everybody that's a member of my channel. If you are a member, all you have to do, um, if you want to become a member, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, which I'd appreciate, and you can hit the join button, which I appreciate, but if you don't want to, that's fine too. Um, you being here is enough. I treasure your existence. Thank you. Um, if you... Uh, our member though, I want to say thank you so much. You are a beautiful individual. Thank you for taking the commitment to be with me for the rest of your life. Thank you for that. I want to thank everybody that subscribed as well. You guys are amazing, awesome, beautiful specimens of human being. Um, so there's that that scared me. My door opened a little bit because of the window being open. But anyway, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in zipper because zippers are super necessary. I don't have one on currently, but I saw a zipper earlier today. Um, oh, no, I do have a zipper on my pants, but I'm not going to show you my zipper on my pants, obviously. I always have it pulled up, by the way. Uh, with the exception of those times, I don't. I have some pants that don't have zippers. They're, like, cheaper pants, so they come with buttons. Mm, I feel like buttons are a little bit cooler, though. Like, I feel if your pants have buttons, they're a little bit more novel, if that makes any sense. Like, zippers are basic at this point. But anyway, 
It doesn't matter. Um, speaking of novelty, you are most definitely a novelty. You're a novelty in terms of like how everybody else is so basic. Everybody else has everything, you know, it's so general. But you are a special specimen. You are a beautiful, beautiful, amazing person. And I look upon you sometimes with, with so much beauty in my eyes seeing how magnificent you are how much of a beautiful individual you are by the way you should probably stay away from the frozen food section because you would melt the entire aisle and that would be cause a big problem because your beauty obviously your beauty is so hot you're so spicy you're spiced up like red hot well, it's not, this isn't that spicy, though. This is not that spicy, but it's spicy enough. Uh, I know white people did get a bad reputation for not being able to take spice, but I can. But anyway, guys, uh, we're getting the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord server, and my second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace!